hello friends uh, welcome again and this is my new project uh, health insurance management system and i have developed this project in php and mysql the version for the php i am using is the php version 7 and the mysql version is 5.6 and i have used jam server for running this project if you have amp server or if you have other php apache server then you can also configure this project on those servers if you are using linux operating system then you can use the lamp stack if you are using the mac operating system you can use the MAMP stack right for front-end development i am using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also have used like for form validations creating a sliders integration of the date plugins right integration of the calendars i have used the jquery plugins right so these all technologies i have used for developing this project health insurance management system right so let's start with the functionality group so the project title is in health insurance management system and this is a mini project developed mini dbms project developed in php and mysql right mini project because it has only and only admin login there is no customer login available in this project right so many con many project contains a single login user system right so this is the home page of the project right so this is a simple home page if you want to change the content then you can change directly from the html this is a about page this is also a static page and if you want to change the content, then you can change it from the about.php. This is all insurance. This is a totally dynamic page and it's a category of the insurance site. Even you can add this page, uh, add the category from the admin panel after logging inside the system using the admin credentials, right? So these are the categories. So if you click on the category, so these all five categories are coming from the database. So if you click on the category, then you will be able to find the details of that category, right? And this, it, below the category you will get all of the policy which belongs to that category right suppose there is a family floater is a category then there will be varieties of plants inside that family floater then all of the policy will be displayed inside the category right once you click on that view details then you will be able to see the details of that uh, policy and if you click on the view document then you will be able to see the documents of that category right so this is all insurance and you can click on the category and after that you will be able to see all of the category details including all of the policies and policy details even you can download the documents which has been uploaded by the admin right so these all are the dynamic pages and all the values are coming from the database this is a login right so from this page you will be able to log inside the system right so i already told you this is a single user based login system that is the admin right so the user id is admin and the password test this is the contact us page. This is a static contact us page. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database, right? So this is a static contact us page. Even I'm not sending a type of email, SMS from this page. So let me log in inside the system with admin. So once you log inside the system with admin, you will get this dashboard, right? So you can see there are a lot of functionalities, right? So the this dashboard options is available also on the header menu, so you can see, right? So there are one two three four modules available inside the system including the admin there are five modules right and there are many of the pages available inside the system which already explained you let me go through one by one so home page already explained you about us already explained you all instruments i already explained you dashboard so this is the admin dashboard and you will get this menu after the login this is add customer from where you will be able to add the customer these drop downs values are coming from the database right if you want to add, edit, update, delete the values of this drop down, then you can directly do from the database. This is the add category from where you will be able to add the categories. This is the image. Once you click on the, if you, once you save this category, then it will be displayed on the home page on the all insurance, right? So here you will get that category, right? This is the add category and you can upload the category photo from here. This is the add policy from where you will be able to add the policy inside the category so this is the policy type means all of the category which you have added will be displayed here means this drop down will contain all of the category which you had added inside the system right all of the documents you can upload the documents here right that will be visible by means uh, the customer will be able to download that document it will be able to read about their documents right see so this is the add policy this is the add customer policy means if customer buy any other policy then those details will be available here right so for that you need to add the customer first and after that all of the policy details will be available inside this drop down 
and all of the customer details will be available in this drop down right and this drop down will contain only and only those customers which you have added earlier right or which is available in the, inside the database right mm -hmm. okay this is a sum assured payment total installment this all information you need to put and after that the documents which is related to that customer right there is a policy document and there is a customer document right so both are different right so if any customer buy by any buys any of the policy then the policy document for that customer will be different then you can upload it here right so add customer add category add policy and add customer policy this is a customer report all of the customer which you add will be displayed here you can edit it and you can update it right this is a category report all of the category which you added will be displayed here you can search the category from here right you can see this is a real time search right? even you can edit it and update it also this is a category listing all of the category listing already explained you this page this is a policy report all of the policy which you have uh, uploaded will be displayed here you can click the view documents for viewing the documents which you have uploaded you can edit it and you can uh, update the details right this is a customer policy all of the policy which you have sold to customer will be displayed here and each of the customer policy documents will be displayed here once you click on the view documents you will be able to download the customer policy documents right even you can edit that customer policy and update the details also even you can delete it you can search the customer from here also you can see it's a real time search right this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and after updating your account password you will be able to log in with that updated password and the logout so once you log out from the system all of the administration mail menu will not be displayed because the above menu is totally session driven and if you log inside the system then it will be rendered because session is set right so above menu is totally session driven and without logging you will not be able to access the internal pages right so this all functionality i have to, i have developed inside this project health insurance management system and this this is a mini project mini dbms project which i have developed in php and mysql if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate this in this i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much